Ci troviamo al Diavolo Rosso di Asti, in questo locale dove questa sera si esibirà una, un'icona del pop degli anni Ottanta, si chiama Nick Kershaw. Hi Nick and welcome. Hi, thanks very much, good to be here. So let's start from the beginning and uh, let's see what happened in the 80s. So what do you remember of the atmosphere in the music, obviously, of the 80s and what does remain now in your music of the 80s? Um, <laughs> it's, it just seems such a long time ago, you know, it was... 30 years ago nearly so um i just remember it being like a a big blur a big uh almost like a train wreck you just kind of you just on a train and you're along for the ride you know um it's 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 weird i I just played music and i just sung songs and that i mean it it was almost like it could have been any decade you know that was just had just happened to be my time and you're in in a little bubble really um Uh, but in the 80s, I remember the same things everybody else remembers. I remember, you know, uh, the politics of the 80s and, and, and that kind of thing. But I think what, what's with us is, is still the music because uh, you see it now in the acts that are, that are coming out now. They still um, play on that kind of music. And, and I'm still doing gigs now. You know, people still want to hear those old songs. Yeah. So after a decade in the 90s, you return a day in, in the late 90s with a new album and you change in the way of making music. And uh, uh, what happened in that uh, decade in your music? Well, I, I stopped making records at the end of the 90s, uh, end of the 80s, yeah. Um, and I, I, I made records for other people. I produced records and I wrote songs for other people. Um, but in the end, that became very frustrating because you never really get to do the whole thing you know you never get to see a project through to its conclusion properly so and I was writing songs at the end of the 90s that were obviously for me so I started making records again and then now we arrive to No Frills only acoustic versions of your successes and two new songs so why now and why acoustic? I don't know, it was, uh, I started doing acoustic gigs, solo acoustic gigs, some um, about 18 months ago. Um, and I, I, after the shows, I, the people would ask me, you know, have you got something on record that, that, that we can take home with us that you've just done, you know, that... And I didn't, I didn't have anything like that. So I, I, it's really kind of by request that I, that, I, that I made this album. And I thought, well, you know, that could, I could do that, that would be quick, that would be easy. And it, it wasn't quick or easy um but i did it and i'm very proud of it and um it's just it's just a new way of looking at, uh, at all those old songs and it, it gives you a completely different relationship with the songs as well yeah. so what did you discover of new if you discover something new in your songs playing this way acoustic i think i It's not even lyrically or melodically it's because that that's the same you know they're the same songs but it's just a kind of a feeling about the songs when you sing them. I, I, I feel completely different when I'm singing just with an acoustic guitar and a voice and you, 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 it, it's much more kind of almost physical kind of feeling um, that you've got. Whereas on stage with the band and the lights and the smoke and the, everything else, it's a completely different atmosphere, it's completely different. You're playing it? sometimes gigs with uh, people like Erasure or other exponents of that kind of music, the music of the 80s. Mm, what do you think that people can see now in the music of the 80s? Do you know, I, I don't know, because be, being wrapped up and involved in it, it's very difficult to stand back and to see what it was. I think the 80s had a lot of good music, it had a lot of bad music. You know, I think that's the same... That's the same um, all the time and I, I don't think anyone likes to be defined by what they did 25 30 years ago um so I still do that stuff and I still kind of connect with all that stuff but then I'm doing what I'm doing now and a lot of us a lot of my peers and contemporaries are still doing new stuff now and very interesting work um but I, I don't I don't know what it was about that and I don't know what people get out of it I think people listen to music in a different way in the 80s It, it, yeah. now it's, com- it's, a, it's consumed very differently it's much easier to get it's much easier to it's more throwaway you can put it on your computer on your iPod you can lose it and, can, and then get and then download another one it's just it's more disposable I think um, and people that uh, listen to music in the, in the 80s I think still listen to music that way 
So let's make one step ahead. Next step for Nick. Well, I've, it's about time I, I put a new album out, really, because the last one was 2006. So I'm hoping the end of next year to do that. Um, I'm also writing music for television. Um, and I'll still do the gigs. There'll all be big, big gigs coming in, festivals, and, and, and maybe a, a little club tour at the end of 2011 to promote a new album. That'd be good.